Hey YouTube, it's All Things Pretty coming to you with a mini um, resin pour reveal show, whatever you want to call it. But I'm really coming to you with questions about resin because basically this batch of resin is what I call the experiment. I received some new molds I'm practicing just to see how they come out, like the popsicles. Um, I just got this in, so I was seeing what the different backgrounds look like with the white and the same thing with the ice creams. I was experimenting with the white background against it. And overall, I like how my pieces turned out. These right here, I just put a very little bit of glitter in. I mean, not glitter, resin. See how thin they are? But I had the idea that perhaps I could just drill a hole over here and add a ribbon and maybe use these or sell these as gift tags because they're super cute and I get tired of adding glitter to the back of everything. So I wanted to do something different. So those are probably going to be sets of gift tags once I get them all figured out. I saw I had this Christmas sticker that was really cute and then I don't know if you can tell here, it kind of folded or bubbled or something crazy happened to the bottom of it. So I can't use that one, but like I say, this is the experiment. Okay, the next thing, the next experiment. This cupcake is actually from the cupcake mold that I made from my Walmart shop and tell. Remember this? Okay, and then I created this, and from that came this. Now I only did a really thin layer because I didn't want to waste a lot of resin. I wanted to see what it would be like. Question number one. When using Amazing Mold Putty for your molds, have you ever experienced the coarse texture on the bottom? I don't know if you can hear that. Have you ever experienced that coarse texture on the bottom of your pieces? If so, why? Should I worry about it? Is that just a part of it or when I glaze it, will it matter? I did another one when I used the Silly Putty, uh, Amazing Putty mold and, mold, and this was it. And I have a little Hello Kitty, which came out cute, but is rough as the Dickens. Like, I could use it to sand other resin pieces. Okay, so if you have an answer for that, please let me know. Why does Amazing Putty mold make my pieces feel like sandpaper? And will it matter? Next question. I made these two-tone dome shape. The back is black and the front is white. And what I was trying to do was achieve the effect of, you know, the old-fashioned brooches. And I like the effect. Don't mind this. I dropped it and it's not quite cured, so I broke it. But the problem that I'm having, and I don't know if you can see it, do you see those holes on the front with the little white dots? Well paint comes out of there and I felt as though I mixed the paint thoroughly for quite a long time but yet every one of my pieces have holes and actually um, I did another piece last week in white and it had holes as well very tiny holes does anyone know why when you use acrylic paint you get holes at the bottom of your pieces is it a user error or is it a chemical compound mixing error? Please help me so that I don't waste a lot of resin. Perhaps I should use some other type of colorant. The next thing that I have done that I absolutely, absolutely am proud of are these snowflakes. Hopefully you can see these pretty well. I took white paint and mixed a little bit of blue glitter paint and added some extra iridescent glitter and this was the end result. Now the back has a few air bubbles that I didn't catch but it is the back so I'm not going to worry about it. Like there's one here on the corner and there's one right there so if you can see that. But nonetheless, the front came out wonderful. I love the color in these. They're still soft. So anyway, 
I achieved this look by using this mold that I purchased from Target and I showed you guys that in my previous video. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Questions, if you can answer my questions about the acrylic paint issue and about the amazing mold putty issue making my pieces feel like sandpaper, that would be most helpful. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Happy crafting.